Hey friends, it's Crystal. Welcome back to our channel. If you are just stopping by for the first time, we share all things booth life, business tips and tricks, business resources for your booth or store. We also share our junking trips, thrift store hauls, and vintage makeovers. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit that like button. If you guys aren't shopping at Dollar Tree for your dealer tool bag supply items, you're missing out. I wanted to take you along and show you some of my favorite items that I use for my tool bag. I also get other items here, but this video is just things that you can use for your booth. I'm not talking about merchandise, just I'm talking about, well, some of it will be, but we'll get to that. Okay, so I had never sat foot in a Dollar Tree up until about six years ago. Yes, I was a Dollar Tree snob, but hey, we're all in this industry to make money. And if we can save some money by getting our booth supplies at Dollar Tree, why not? So here are some of the items that I love getting for both my home and my booth. Love getting the jute twine. You get three rolls in a pack. There's 100 feet per roll. And I love now that you can get all brown because it used to be two rolls of brown and then they would throw in this ugly green. So these are great for price tags and for other craft products. I love getting um, paint brushes there. They have other sizes. These are the ones that I like to use. If you have little small items where you need to get into a nook and a cranny, um, these are great. And then the chalkboard tags I love using on certain items in my booth. Um, I don't put these on every item, but if you have a, mer a piece of merchandise that you feel like it just needs a little something extra, these are great. You get six in a pack. Those are made out of cardboard. They're already punched. They already have the string. And if you have great handwriting, grab a chalkboard pen and draw a cute little picture or put a message and then tie that around your product. Love using the felt pads. You get um, 27 pieces in a pack. You can cut your felt to size. They have the larger sheets on the back and then the smaller strips and then the dots. These are great for side tables and chairs to keep, you know, from scratching other pieces of furniture. Love using floral moss, both, both in my home and my booth. I love to put this stuff down in like milk glass bowls just to give it some character just to kind of layer and then maybe put another um, product on top of that because you know some customers cannot envision how an item can look in their home but like this is what i'm talking about put some spanish moss down in the bowl and then maybe put another cute little product or a bird on top of it presentation is everything and if you give customers ideas of how things can look they're you know probably gonna buy something quicker than if it's not staged love using those plastic jars for my nuts and bolts and i just toss that down in my tool bag and then the spanish moss i use it the same way that i use the floral moss but this time of the year for spring I always grab a bag of this stuff to make a bird nest and grab some sticks and twigs out of my yard love using the brown scrunched up paper for baskets and you know bowls again just giving products and some texture and layering all about that presentation guys and then i love keeping these little um, gift boxes in my booth because you never know when somebody's shopping for a gift and if you can make things available for them just kind of a quick grab and go why not i don't sell these plain i embellish them with a picture and i had fully intended to <laughs> do like a tutorial and show you guys but I ran out of time but I just grab pictures like I try to get vintage pictures from the graphics fairy some of the um, pictures I already have in my collection of clip art but I just decoupage these onto the box and then I go around the edges with glass glitter or sometimes I will make them um, make the edges look old I promise I'll do a tutorial on these because I know you guys are going to ask, but I, you will be surprised at how many of these you will sell. And I usually try to price these anywhere from $1.50 to $3. It just depends on how much time I put in it and how embellished they are. Sometimes I go all out and put rhinestones. And then I wanted to touch on these again. These are the postcards that I shared in a Q&A video about two weeks ago. I've gotten a lot of feedback these graphics I had in my clip art folder, I created the front and the back. I'm sorry I didn't clarify. Overnight Prints does not provide graphics. 
you have to provide the finished product and then they will print it into whatever you need, like flyers, postcards, business cards. So I created this um, start to finish. The front side is glossy and then the back side is matte. That way, if customers want to write a message or actually send it in the mail, they can. Um, I love getting these from Overnight Prints. The quality is phenomenal. I always ask for the rounded corners and they're very thick. I mean, I just, I can't say enough good things. I used to print these and sell them in my booth many years ago. I've also sold those on Etsy as um, decorative sets of postcards. These are just some that I had left over. But again, they're just, they're beautiful cards. The quality is great. They're very reasonable. I think the smallest quantity you can get is 100, and I'm not sure what the maximum is. But here we are in the Dollar Tree, and you guys can see they have paint rollers, they have um, pliers, screwdrivers, um, there's the jute twine I was talking about, and they have these sanding blocks. They even have the furniture paint markers now, like if you need to touch up furniture. They have duct tape. I mean, guys, they have a little of everything. They have the hooks, and they even have the sponge paint brushes. I mean, they just have all kinds of stuff. They've really come a long way. And I just try to save money as much as I can. My Dollar Tree is now $1.25. I think that's pretty much across the board, although I'm not sure. Also love to have a level in my bag because you never know when you need to, you know, hang something up or hang a shelf. Love using the spackle because if you have sheetrock in your booth, this is great to just fill in those holes. I love to grab these cute little succulents for decor. And then here we are in the craft section or the floral section. I love using these little clamps. These are great if you need to glue something in place. They also have the larger red ones over in the hardware section. So those are just a few of the things that I try to use in my booth. I hope this has been helpful. If you like this kind of content, please like this video. It helps our channel to grow and we will, well, we will see you guys in the next one. Okay, I wanted to show you guys really quick how to use the Spanish moss, floral moss, and the scrunched up craft paper. I know you senior dealers are probably laughing going, get with it, Crystal, because we already know these tips, but we do get a lot of newbies. So I'm just mainly sharing this for the newbies. You see, I just put the um, craft paper down in a milk glass dish. This also looks really good in baskets. And of course, Easter and Mother's Day, both are right around the corner, so this would look great in like a little gift basket for mothers and um, Easter. And then here is the floral moss. I know this is uh, not what it's intended for, but I still think it's cute in a little milk glass dish, and I just have them stacked. And then here is the Spanish moss. I just tried to create a bird's nest, but it looks really really pitiful at this point. You can't even see the little twigs, but I have the little sticks. I just stuck those in there to kind of mimic a real bird's nest. I need to get some of those little eggs, but here are the um, flashcards that I recently did. I did one for spring, and then the other one is bunny. And those are vintage inspired. You can grab those over on my blog. And I also did this one called Hello Spring. Was, I'm sorry, there's a glare from the window. But that's it. I'll put the links in the, in the description below. So you guys, if you want to grab these printables, you can. And happy staging and thrifting. And I'm so excited to introduce our feature featured booth of the video. It's Heather from Lulu and Junebug Vintage. I love her page. You guys, I'll have her information in the description below and be sure to go over and check her out. She is at Queen of Hearts in Buford and I'm going to let you guys sit back and watch her beautiful booth.